cortisol awakening response happens in both men and women. Now, when we see that the cortisol peaks in both sexes about half an hour after they wake up, the idea around cortisol holding its peak in women is because now we need food. The hypothalamus is responsible for the cortisol reduction because it is part of the whole response of our sex hormones and other steroid hormones. So if it's like there's no food here, we need to elevate and keep that cortisol peak for a longer period of time to break things down to provide fuel for the day. But for men, the hypothalamus isn't as sensitive. So cortisol peaks, they're up, they're working around, and the body's like, okay, well, I might not have as much muscle and liver glycogen, so I'm going to tap into some body fat. But for women, we go through our blood glucose and then start to tap into a little bit of our liver and muscle glycogen, then we get into free fatty acid use. So the idea of keeping cortisol at the elevation is to maximize free fatty acid use in women. So there is a difference in that whole cortisol awakening response peak and how that drops afterwards. 